and here is november december 2023 question paper with the same subject and this is a makeup exam question paper and we can compare these two and let us get some important questions the very first question is uh, this is also expected regulated power supply and need diagram explain the individual blocks this is a very important question this question might be asked this time also and we have what is a rectifier out of three rectifiers one rectifier will be sure in the exam here full wave bridge rectifier is asked with capacitor filter right we need to write the diagram and also we need to write the output waveform and the circuit and the third question is in 1c we have with circuit diagram brief out the operation of voltage doubler voltage doubler and voltage tripler is there so those two can also be asked uh, since it is a very simple circuit and a brief explanation required for four marks and coming to the choice question question number 2 here draw the circuit diagram of voltage regulator and explain its operation voltage regulator is also very important you can see line regulation load regulation and things like that and then negative feedback effects a uh, negative feedback amplifier is asked here with diagram and relevant equations this is also a very important concept uh, it will be repeatedly asked in basic electronics question paper and 2c is explain frequency response of a rc coupled amplifier so a frequency response curve you need to write here for a this rc coupled amplifier coming to this makeup exam question paper uh, question number 1 here need circuit diagram waveform explain the bridge rectifier you can see easily you can expect one rectifier question with filter or without filter please read the rectifiers uh, three rectifiers with filter without filter and you can also practice the waveforms so that 8 to 10 marks you can easily get from this then here again a dc power supply question is asked here also power supply question is asked in the previous question paper right principal components used in each block need to be explained this is also a very important question we can easily expect this also then there is a problem here 6 volt zener diode maximum uh, rated power dissipation is this determine the suitable value of the series resistor this is on zener diode means voltage regulator this kind of question can be asked in exam this time also why because zener diode as re voltage regulator has some uh, expressions directly putting into those expressions and getting the values it is a easy problem as well coming to the second question here with need diagram explain the overall gain of negative feedback amplifier i said already negative feedback amplifier is also very important you can easily expect this also in exams and then the amplifier terms is asked here input resistance amplifier gain and bandwidth and phase shift it is easy to explain these things just we need to write one line definition and also a expression related to that then what are what are multi stage amplifiers the two stage amplifiers need to be connected and we need to explain and different methods of inter stage coupling which are all the coupling methods of connecting those two this is what from module 1 here uh, the very important question is power supply then bridge rectifier and also full wave and half wave rectifiers and zener diode as voltage regulator and negative feedback amplifier characteristics as well as the derivation for gain that is about module 1 from both the question papers coming to module 2 this is about amplifiers and oscillators so one oscillator can be expected easily and also barkson criteria is asked over here and asked to determine the frequency of oscillation of a bridge oscillator vane bridge oscillator so please remember the circuit explanation as well as the expressions for the oscillators even if they ask problems like this you can easily substitute and find out the answers for the frequency calculation it is also very simple and they may ask to explain vane bridge oscillator or rc coupled oscillator also then we have neat circuit diagram explain the ladder network oscillator you can see and then operation of single stage a stable multi vibrator is asked this is also sometimes uh, repeatedly asked in exams then op amp here ideal characteristics of op amp it is a very very important question uh, we can see many times in exams 
and inverting amplifier and non inverting amplifier integrator differentiator adder are also important here also you need to remember the circuit how we need to write if we if we consider a summer uh, three input summer two input summer and how the calculation of uh, output expression will be need to be understood this kind of questions will be asked for sure and then there is an problem here an operational amplifier with negative feedback produces output voltage of 2 volts and this is the supply voltage and determine the closed loop voltage gain is the problem this kind of problems may ask may not be asked okay just be prepared with the problems uh, here also that is about module 2 in this question paper coming to the um, makeup question paper from module 2 you can see the first question is on oscillator to determine the frequency of a three stage ladder network oscillator okay this is also a problem again a single stage a stable multi vibrator is asked using op amp here also multi vibrator we have seen right uh, the question is repeated here means this is very important it means and also a crystal oscillator is asked here crystal controlled oscillator with a diagram and then coming to question number 4 op amp here they are asked to define uh, the following with respect to op amp like these are all again a, a characteristics of op amp and also you have studied these things with respect to the ideal characteristics and practical characteristics these things can be defined and one line of explanation and an expression related to that can be written then sketch the circuits for the following again differentiator integrator voltage follower uh, inverting non inverting amplifier and adder are very important also they have explained the ideal characteristic of an op amp again uh, these two answers are similar you can easily uh, write both so the question number 4 is very easy here coming to module 3 module 3 is digital part of uh, digital electronics you can say so here conversion question is there here we need to convert one form of uh, one form of number to other form right and the next question is perform the following again two's complement we need to find out and tens complement we need to find out here right perform the following operation for the two's complement and tens complement method is asked here in module 3 uh, de morgan's theorem is also very important and other theorems related to that is also important boolean algebra and theorems uh, they may ask at least one or two to prove and then implement boolean functions uh, using logic gates is the question here step by step procedure to uh, design a combinational circuit is asked full ladder circuit is very very important this question is also repeatedly asked in the exams coming to the model uh, sorry make up question paper again de morgan's theorem is asked here de morgan theorem for three variable and also four variable you need to study then tens complement calculation is asked here uh, subtraction using tens complement and twos complement again here is the question paper is uh, repeated the question is repeated and with the truth table explain full ladder again the full ladder question is asked and the carry expressions how we are going to get uh, we need to explain and the circuit diagram need to be written then in the choice question again one conversion problem and that is mandatory uh, binary to uh, binary to decimal decimal to binary hexadecimal octal and ones complement ninth and tens complement with that twos complement is a mandatory question we can say and here uh, a question is asked to simplify these boolean expressions this kind of question can also be asked to simplify it to the uh, simplified version of that boolean expression right and then the next question is mention three theorems of boolean algebra prove them proving the boolean algebra is also uh, a important question it might be asked coming to module 4 embedded systems what is embedded system compare embedded system with general purpose system this question also asked in the previous exams many times this can be uh, easily expected or there are some comparison about microprocessor microcontroller that question can be asked risc and cisc so out of 3 at least one or two will be asked in this part module 4 it is an easiest module also by just reading the differences between risc cisc uh, microprocessor microcontroller you can see over here it is asked and embedded system general purpose system is also asked here risc and cisc again asked all three questions are asked in the both the question papers right so it is very important and easy to uh, write the differences also and classification of embedded system is asked over here 
and major application areas of embedded system is asked in the choice question transducer sensors and actuators we need to write a short note then seven segment display all these concepts i have explained clearly in my playlist you can see the playlist and learn these things and also i have given the point wise answers uh, you can write in exams directly and apart from these differences classification of embedded system is asked again here and applications also and need diagram explain the instrumentation and control system and again short note on uh, these three so if you see these two question papers almost the questions are repeated it means these are the uh, concepts there in that module and those need to be asked other than that the things are not so important so you need to understand the differences and the instrumentation control system sensors actuators and a display uh, seven segment display then the fifth module related to communication block diagram of communication is very very important okay hardwired channel and software channel is asked here and radio wave propagation and different types is asked here and what is am and the different uh, different difference between fm can be asked or am and waveform of that can be asked or the derivation of am expression can be asked okay and advantages of digital communication over analog communication multiple access techniques is also very important many times it is asked okay and also am is very important here right this is also very important <laughs> coming to this uh, question paper other question paper that is makeup question paper again modern communication system block diagram and uh, following binary data is given we need to write the ask fsk and psk modulated waveforms uh, this question is also easily we can write if you understand those uh, process and radio wave propagation and different types is asked and digital communication over analog communication difference radio signal transmission and multiple access techniques and different types of modulation briefly describe each of them so uh, you can easily you can easily score in this subject okay the very important uh, questions as i said first one is rectifier out of 3 you will get at least one right and then we have um opamp in opamp also the circuits of opamp is very very important inverting non inverting summer differentiator integrator will be asked and in oscillator there are three oscillators one oscillator will be asked for sure and also coming to negative feedback and voltage regulator these two are very very important also and then coming down uh, in digital electronics conversion question is asked every time uh, number conversion will be a sure question you can easily uh, if you know the conversion you can get 8 to 10 marks from that and in embedded system there are three differences out of three differences two will be sure in the exam and then coming to communication you need to understand how the am works and how fm works difference can be asked and am definition and the uh, waveform can be asked so those are very very important questions right you can refer the previous question papers and also the model question papers in my channel that is sufficient to score more in this subject so this is about the two question papers of the subject uh, introduction to electronics and communication engineering thank you